Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we are actually starting a whole new playlist, Zero to Hero in Swift UI. Now we're gonna go ahead and walk throughout Apple's tutorials and we're going to make sure that you, someone who never installed Xcode, someone who never even programmed before, is going to be able to create a Swift UI app from scratch by the end of this playlist. Now this is the first video and the first thing we're going to do is actually install Xcode. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to head to my App Store and I'm going to go to the search bar and I'm going to search up Xcode. Now I already have mine installed. I've never opened it, not on this machine. It's over here and I have it installed. Now after you install it, you will find it inside of your launchpad over here. And as you can see, it has that purple dot because I've never opened it. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna open it for the first time with you so we can learn how to set it up together. Okay, perfect. So obviously now we have the license agreement, which we're obviously not going to read and we're going to click agree. Now we're required to put our password and I will do just that. Yours will obviously be different and we're going to be pretty much walked through the wizard. And by the way, this is probably one of the easiest programming environments that you're ever going to have to set up. There's no details. There's no like put your path or anything like that. You just let the wizard do its thing. And as you can see, it's going to be set up really quickly. Okay, perfect. So as soon as we load up, as soon as it loads up, we here have three different options. Create a new Xcode project, clone an existing project, and open a project or file. Because we are going to be following Apple's program and Apple's tutorial, we're going to be following it. And I'm going to be linking you the steps of what we need to do. At the moment, all we need to do is click on create a new Xcode project as we don't have any projects existing. So I'm going to do that. As you can see, we get presented with our project setup. We're going to navigate to iOS, make sure the application app is selected and we're going to click on next. After that, we're going to give it any product name. So that's our app name. For now, I'm just going to say first app. Of course, you're going to be needing to put an account. Now I already have my own account, so I'm simply going to sign in. Okay, so after signing in, here you're able to actually select the team that you want to go under. For me, I'm going to select David Bullis, that's me. And for the organization identifier, we can put something like Tapaway. And it will always have your pretty much a unique ID for your app. So always have Tapaway, your company ID, and then first app or whatever the name of the app. If I change it, it will change here. You don't have to worry about this. Now, obviously, this is a Swift UI playlist, so we're going to make sure for the interface we have Swift UI selected. Lifecycle, keep it as it is, Swift UI app. For language, it's going to be Swift. Include tests, no, we don't want that, so we're going to make sure that everything here is unchecked, and we're going to click on next. The thing that we're going to be doing now is that we're going to be selecting a place to save our project in. I'm going to save it in, in my desktop, and I'm going to make sure that my source control is unchecked as well and I'm going to click on create. If you wanna, for some reason, save this on GitHub or anything like that, feel free to do so. For me, I'll just leave it as that. We'll give it a couple of seconds and our project should be loaded up and ready to go. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, our project just loaded and we can probably maximize this. Now on the right side here, we have our canvas and if I click on resume, it will actually show us what our code here on the left stands for. Now I'm assuming this is really small, so I'm just going to minimize it by clicking on command and then plus and maybe we can close these right bars at the same time now if all of this looks a bit overwhelming and too much complicated for you don't worry we're definitely going to go through it and we're going to pretty much clear up any confusion that you might be having for now this was it in this episode we learned about swift ui we started the project and we're ready to go now continue watching the next few episodes to learn more about it and see what actually we are going to be creating thanks so much for watching and